Hi, this is Rohit and in this video I will be telling you how to use fuzzy logic toolbox by showing a simple rainfall prediction mechanism. So without wasting much of the time, let's get started. Just go to the start option in MATLAB. Click toolboxes in the toolboxes, select more option and you will go to the fuzzy logic toolbox on the top. Or you can simply write F U Z Z Y in the command window and hit enter and you will get the simple fuzzy file I mean, FIS editor that is fuzzy inference system so this fuzzy inference system consists of three inputs uh, three parts that is the input section which consists of different membership functions and it converts the crisp data into fuzzy file form second is the inference engine which consists of rules different rules which uh, which uses these inputs and convert them into different set of rules for generating a defuzzified output at the output side okay so this was the basic overview now let's get go to the rainfall prediction mechanism example i have already designed the system so i will be importing it from the file and uh, this is the rainfall predictor file i am imported i have imported it here so so for rainfall prediction there might be a lot number of parameters for rainfall uh, parameters for here i uh, here i have used only five parameters that is cloud content humidity wind direction temperature and pressure so these parameter these five parameters will be deciding the amount of rainfall in any city this is the basic parameters so i have used them now how will they decide it so for that we have to decide we have to select membership functions for each and every input section as well as give the membership function for output section also we have to de define the rules for the rainfall predictor fis so let's start it let's uh, make the rules uh, make the membership functions first so this is a membership function for cloud content so for cloud content you can set the range from here 0 to 10 because I have taken it in octants and the range is from 0 to 10 so for power you have so I have taken three membership functions here two are the triangular member function that is trimf using the command trimf type here and you can command get any command so I have taken trimf that is triangular membership function for power and medium for excellent I have taken the trap mf you can move these inputs by select clicking single click from here and then so on and so forth okay so in the same way humidity has been shown from 0 to 100 percent and three membership functions have again been designed for humidity for wind direction again three for temperature there are three excellent medium and poor for pressure there are three low medium and high so you can pause on the video and see all the details again here now let's quickly design the membership functions for output as well so output is the rainfall prediction so the so rainfall can be low medium high or really poor that is simply a drizzle so i've designed for low the percentage is 0 to 35 uh, sorry for poor the percentage is 0 to 35 for low the temperature percentage is 5 to 50 for medium it's 25 to 70 and from high it is 60 to 100 so this is how you can define the membership functions i have used trimf for all these membership functions that is triangular membership function so this is all about it so second now, now now the inputs have been defined and the outputs have been defined now what actually is left is a rule base so go to the edit select the rules and you will be taken to the rule base section here you can see that for that you have five number of inputs that is cloud humidity wind direction temperature and pressure and all these inputs have been shown in different section in the rule base so you don't have to type anything here everything is written over here and whatever membership functions you are using they are also shown in the corresponding section 
the final thing which is not visible here exactly shows the output form okay now how to define a rule first of all let's select poor 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 so everything is poor and the pressure is high the rainfall will be low so you just have to read the literature that what sort of rules you are going to make that what will be the cloud content humidity wind direction temperature and pressure and what will be the uh, output rainfall at that time just click on add rule and the rule will be added here so this is the first rule which i have added cloud content is poor humidity is poor wind direction is poor temperature is poor pressure is poor and rainfall is low so this is how it will work now you just don't have to do anything else you just have to click on the close menu and everything is done so here in the fis rule base the total number of rules will be equals to 2 raised to power n now the n is equal to total number of inputs which you have so 2 raised to power n means 128 rules will be there so you can define 128 rules or based upon your requirement any number of rules you can define here i have designed only 50 rules for showing this so let's close this section now we can also view these rules from the view section and it will give you a much better overview that whatever membership since these are the membership functions we designed and based on these membership function this will be the output rainfall the yellow portions are the are the, all the input sides and the blue is the output section so let's move this red line from here towards some somewhere else and the output will also vary so you can see that the blue portion has ended yeah. that is the rain content is minimum now you can move here or somewhere else so you can again see the average rainfall in that side so the rain is again getting diminished so this was all now that is the now we have to save this and interface it with the main MATLAB code so that it is used for future works FIS file have been saved and rainfall predict file has been made this this file has been created by me a lot earlier so I'm telling you you can read the FIS file from a uh, read FS add a number of inputs here and then hit enter run so this is how it will open now you have to give the total number of cloud content between 1 and 8 let's see it's 2 uh, for humidity let's give it 20 percent for uh, wind what at which angle the wind is flowing in degree so let's uh, let it to take it as 45 degree with respect to earth and uh, let the temperature be 30 degree celsius and finally the pressure be 1020 bars so again hit enter and the total rainfall is 50 percent this is how the whole system works you can pause at any stage and see everything you can pause at the infer predict window and see the code which i have run i will also give the code in the description below so that was all about the fuzzy logic toolbox thanks for watching